why USS Gerald R. Ford is called the floating city of power. Welcome aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford, the United States Navy's most advanced aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever built. Often called the floating city of power, this supercarrier isn't just a ship, it's a mobile fortress, a technological marvel, and a symbol of America's naval dominance. But why exactly does it earn this powerful title? Let's find out. A floating city at sea. The USS Gerald R. Ford is massive, at over 1,092 feet long and displacing more than 100,000 tons. It's essentially the size of a small city on the ocean. On board, it can carry more than 4,500 sailors, airmen, and officers. Life aboard feels like a city because the ship has everything. Living quarters, cafeterias, medical facilities, gyms, chapels, and even its own postal service. Sailors can live at sea for months at a time, supported by a floating infrastructure that provides food, electricity, and clean water for thousands of people every single day. A city of power. But it's not just about size or comfort. The USS Gerald R. Ford is called a city of power for a reason. At the heart of the ship are two nuclear reactors that generate enough energy to power a medium sized American city. This incredible amount of energy drives the carrier across the ocean for more than 20 years without refueling. And it's this power that fuels its cutting-edge technology, like the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMAILS, which launches aircraft with greater efficiency than the old steam catapults. The advanced arresting gear allows for safer landings, while new radar and defense systems make the ship nearly untouchable. Air Wing, the city's air force. A city has roads and vehicles, but this city has runways and fighter jets. The Ford can deploy more than 75 aircraft, including FA-18 Super Hornets, EA-18G Growlers, and the fifth generation F-35C Lightning II. These jets extend the ship's reach for thousands of miles making the carrier a hub of air power. Every launch and recovery is like rush hour traffic in the skies, with planes taking off and landing around the clock. The Ford's advanced systems mean it can generate up to 30% more sorties than the previous Nimitz-class carriers, giving the U.S. Navy unmatched air superiority.
protection, and technology. A city also needs defense, and the USS Gerald R. Ford has layers of it. From the evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and rolling airframe missiles to the close-in weapon systems, the carrier is shielded against incoming threats. But its greatest defense is mobility. As part of a carrier strike group, the Ford rarely sails alone. It's always escorted by destroyers, cruisers, and submarines, forming a floating shield wall that makes attacking it nearly impossible. Symbol of American power. Our Navy remains a symbol of the United States, of our dedicated and skilled sailors, of our technological genius and our massive but controlled military strength, which patrols the oceans of the world on a mission of peace. The USS Gerald R. Ford isn't just a warship, it's a message. It represents the United States' commitment to global security, deterrence, and rapid response. Wherever it sails, it brings the presence of an entire city armed with unmatched military capability. For allies, it's reassurance. For adversaries, it's a warning. And that's why the USS Gerald R. Ford is called the floating city of power. It's a self-sustaining city, a launch pad for air power, and a fortress at sea, all rolled into one. As the first of its class, the Ford marks a new era of naval dominance, setting the stage for decades of American power projection across the globe. So what do you think? Is the USS Gerald R. Ford the ultimate symbol of modern naval power? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most powerful military technology.